hit with pace as well with that trusty left foot of Beasler trying to shield it out. Instead, he's going to keep it in. Walking the tightrope, taken away by Velo. Elia Sanchez, though, with the cover. So Sporting Kansas City taking the 1-0 lead on the 31st minute penalty that was won by Dom Dwyer and then taken by Dom Dwyer, which he put right off the post. Now a misplay by Diaz, and here comes Dwyer again on the right-hand side. On to his left foot. I think he was looking for Gerso Fernandez to make a run there. Yeah, he certainly was. It was just a misplaced cross by Dom Dwyer. He's indicating that he thought Gerso would make that darting run into the six-yard box. Gerso maybe hadn't read it, but even still, I think the cross was slightly too close to Lowell Diaz. Now Failhaber after the takeaway by Blessing. He finds Dwyer. Now Blessing. Sends it out for Zussi on the right-hand side. Back to Blessing. Just dancing circles around some of the Red Bulls defenders. Just knocked out for a throw in before Blessing could get back onto the end of it. But Boyd taking the ball away and then showing skill on the ball. Latif Blessing is, uh, is showing Sporting Kansas City some things here this half. Yeah, he's got such a low center of gravity, hasn't he? Turns so quickly. Really hard for the New York Red Bulls defenders to keep up with him. And by Zussi, Gerso Fernandez had lost his footing. He might have been in perfect position on the six to knock that one in. Yeah, it's very unfortunate there. I think it may have been Latif Blessing, oh, right. actually. He just yep. lost his foot in at the wrong moment. Slipped over on the edge of the six-yard box. It's good to see Graham Zussi getting up the pitch as well. Certainly something we saw a lot of on Wednesday against Colorado. We haven't seen so much of it today. He has finally had the opportunity to get up the pitch. And he does link very, very well with Gerso Fernandez or Latif Blessing. Whichever one comes out, plays on this right-hand side. Beasler sends it into the corner where Roger Espinosa chases it down. He's trying to get it in for Seth Sinovic, but it's taken away by the Red Bulls. This is Lewis on the right-hand side for Velo. Florian Velo. Now on the return pass from Lewis, it's out for a Sporting Kansas City throw-in. We saw a couple of moments, Matt, where Sporting Kansas City have just missed maybe that final ball whether it be Gerso Fernandez or Latif Blessing, but is that not part of that chemistry that these players are trying to establish as, as new players with some of these veterans for Sporting Kansas City playing together for the first time? No, I agree. You're trying to gel as a team. It's also what preseason's all about. That's when those mistakes, when those missed time play passes, it's, it's not quite fine, but it, you know, it's much more acceptable for them to happen in preseason. I do agree, though. You've got... Three players, three new players, Ilya Sanchez, Gerso Fernandez, and Latif Blessing all trying to gel. Ilya Sanchez with the dispossession. He tried to slide Latif Blessing through, and the flag comes up just offside. And almost on point there. Ilya Sanchez, new player, trying to roll the ball through to Latif Blessing. Blessing had just strayed half a yard offside. But let's not forget, Sporting KC, we've got another nearly hour of this game still to go. There's another two preseason friendlies next week as well. They'll be fully at the races by the time that first game of the season away at DC United takes place. I think they're already showing great signs of gelling as well. Gerso Fernandez on this right-hand side, Latif on the left-hand side, and Elie Sanchez specifically, I feel, in the middle of the park, have really integrated themselves very well into this sporting KC team. This went off of Blessing and out for a Red Bulls throw in. Sanchez so calm on the ball, even under pressure. And he gets it forward to Blessing. And now out wide to, Z to Graham Zussi. And here comes Sporting Kansas City once again. Now Gerso back for Zussi. Zussi trying to turn. It's still Zussi. He couldn't get his left foot around that shot. And it banged off of the tummy of Ethan Cutler. 
And now foul on Matt Beasler to break up the counterattack from the Red Bulls. And Beasler is going to go in the book here in the 38th minute. Yeah, just a slight over exuberance from Matt Beasler there. No need for it on the halfway line either. If it had just held up Zico Lewis, Zico Lewis wasn't really going anywhere. Tried to get ahead of Zico Lewis and win the ball. In doing so, went through the back of Zico Lewis, committed the foul. The referee deemed that a yellow card. It certainly would be during the season. We don't like to see it during pre-season. So I think pretty much the correct decision from the referee. Boy, after all of the work that Ilya Sanchez did to set that rush in motion for sporting down the right-hand side, those are the types of opportunities where they will feel they should come away with a goal. Yeah, because it was a wonderful, once again, wonderful counter-attack. Graham Zussi found himself cut inside onto his left foot in that 18-yard box. Shot wasn't particularly good, but you're, you're right, Nate. It was, a, it was a wonderful break, and they have to take full advantage of those kind of chances. Might not matter quite so much today playing against the second-string New York Red Bulls side, but you know that first game of the season is only a couple of weeks away. Take full opportunity.